and welcome back to Fintech Insider. Um, I am now here with the CEO of Yolt, who have been in the news quite a lot. But before we get into that, it will be good for, for our international audience. Do you want to tell us a little bit about uh, your role? Obviously, it's pretty all-encompassing being the CEO, but uh, and what is it that Yolt do? Yes. Uh, great to be here today, and uh, yes, my name is Frank Jelm, CEO of Yolt. Uh, Yolt is a smart money platform built on the promise of open banking. We're connecting with banks uh, on the aggregation side to get the data into one view um, to help users manage their money in a smarter way. We enrich it with models uh, on categorization, on merchants, and also to see how people can get smarter with their money. And there we combine our partnerships with uh, other companies in our ecosystem. Fantastic, and that, it has gone rather well, hasn't it? You know, you guys are, uh, are finding a, a pretty good product market fit now. The cust you know, your customers are coming in, uh, in in droves. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's growing fast, yeah. So we are now about a bit more than a year live. Uh, in 30th of May last year, we started with our open beta in the UK. And um, we announced yesterday that we have 300,000 registered users, wow. uh, which is uh, a huge amount of, of of, uh, of people and uh, yeah it's still it's the beginning yeah. uh, and, and in a year's time that's that's pretty impressive so uh, where do you expect it to be in a year from now do you think um, the first 100,000 users took us six months the second 200,000 nine months so we can talk a bit about exponential growth so millions I hope for it and uh, in UK but also outside the UK yeah I you I guess you guys will be quite excited about so the announcements that the FCA made a couple of weeks ago there's been uh, almost regularly regulatory mandating this type of capability so you know people are going to be looking for this type of stuff aren't they which is great for you you're already delivering it yeah definitely what we see in, in uh, on the 30th of January of this year open banking started uh, we were the first ones as a TPP to connect to and um, although it was a challenge in the first days to connect with the banks were they ready yes or no but together we shaped this uh, these connections but it goes step by step and it's improving the connections and um, it definitely helps despite the experience and the value that we're creating that there's also awareness for the topic and these kind of announcements definitely help uh, to, to drive these kind of new innovations uh, and, and open banking is definitely hot you know in the the tracks that we've got here at money 2020 this year uh, you know it was noticeable the yeah. distributed ledger technology areas were a little bit quieter a little less people but anything to do with open banking has been standing room only so you know it's a perfect storm perfect time to be doing what you're doing huh Yes, it's a, it's a big game changer for banking and of course um, it was a year ago and also half a year ago it felt like okay it's something which will change but now banks really have to change and open up their APIs they still have till Q3 of next year um, but it will happen. That's exciting and, and you made an announcement uh, a couple of days ago right there's uh, expansion plans beyond the UK borders is that right? Yeah for sure. Um, the idea when we started Jolt is that we want to build this towards a pan-European money platform and optimizing money does not stop at the border. So UK was our first market and uh, yeah, we were happy to announce that we're going into Italy and France, um, the next two countries. And um, it's definitely a challenge again, a new country, new language, um, uh, going from one to three countries. But we dare to challenge ourselves and if we find a rhythm of expansion, uh, we can also make a step to the other tranche of countries. Fantastic. Well, congratulations with yeah. all the success and thanks very much for coming on Fintech Insider. Thanks.